Hi, hello there YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros the Dimehuvian and today I review Doctor Who, The Return of Doctor Mysterio. So this is the 2016 Christmas special, so 2016 we didn't have a series. You know, we just got the one Christmas special. That's because Stephen Moffat had quit, but he had to, you know, he was signed on for series 10, so he had to do that. And, uh, you know, just, just, we didn't get a series. But we did get this one Christmas special and a teaser for the return of Doctor Who in the spring of 2017. So anyway, yes, this is a Christmas special where the Doctor, on Christmas, befriends a young boy named Grant. Um, who he believes is Santa Claus and then um, you know when he gets him to when he has him you know assist him in this little machine he's making on his rooftops in New York uh, the doctor gives him a little rock to hold on to and a glass of water because he's feeling a bit ill with cold mistaking it for a pill he then because he loves superheroes that much and Superman, he starts to develop super abilities and grows up with these and becomes a superhero called the Ghost. And of course, he has a double life, you know, living as a male nanny for a baby and his employer, who is a journalist, and he lives as, like I say, the Ghost. And of course, you know, there are some aliens activity going on there, there in New York where these aliens open their heads like that, which is a bit weird. And of course the Doctor has to deal with those and alien threats. And of course we got Nardle, played by Matt Lucas, returning after, you know, he was, well, a beloved character. I guess they wanted to, I guess they asked Matt Lucas if he likes to come back and stay on a bit longer and he was like, yeah, all right, so he did. So, <clears throat> um, what did I like about this one? Well, I like this Christmas special. Uh, it was a nice treat for Christmas Day because, like I said, we went one year without a, we went another year without a series. But I sometimes think a year hiatus benefits the show because it has time to develop and improve stuff. So, you know, I wasn't I was a little disappointed, but I didn't feel lost without a series that year. But I did enjoy that we got a Christmas special, so I liked that. I also liked the setting of this and that we had a superhero in this one. And also the return of Nardle. I liked the character of the ghost who lived his life. I can't remember the actor's name now, but he was good in it. I loved you know, the whole secret identity, like Clark Kent, Lois Lane thing going on between them two and the woman who he was looking after the kid for. Of course, I also liked Peter Capaldi playing the Doctor as always. He too was great in this. And I actually enjoyed his performance a lot more than... Well, yeah, he just did a better performance. I just think he was just greatly improved in this. I also loved Matt Lucas playing Nardle. He was great in this one too. And of course, I liked the visual effects they had, especially when they were creating it as New York. But I do have negatives on this one. So, one negative is, it just didn't feel that Christmassy. I mean, it was a Christmas special that did air on Christmas Day. But, it, like I say, it felt Christmassy in the opening. It was all Christmas there. But, I feel that you could watch this one any time of the year and not have a Christmas vibe off it. Because, the Christmasness was very lacklustre. I think because we didn't have a series that year, they wanted to just also add a bit more stuff, non Christmassy stuff in there, I suppose. But yeah, but nonetheless, I still enjoyed it. I mean, the number of things that were I felt underdeveloped were the main villain in this one, the aliens that opened their heads and what have you. I don't, you know, they were hiding technology or something in there. I, I don't get it. I, I can't remember much about those aliens, but they must not have been that good because I found them quite forgettable and stuff, so... 
yeah, a little lacklustre on the whole antagonist for that episode. I did, uh, however, like that we got a cameo, well, not a cameo, we got a small feature from unit in there, like the US unit, and we got some, like, a, him, like the ghost stopping a rocket from crashing again in the end. They, you know, the guy gets the girl. Um, but yeah, I, I, I still like this one. I watched it Christmas Day. I thought it was good. I enjoyed Matt Lucas in this. You know, playing the like main companion, and he did return as a regular in series ten. But yeah, this one, it was good. It was good. It was fun. It was adventurous and actually just didn't have much Christmas feeling going on. But it was set around Christmas, like I said already. So do I still recommend this one? Yeah, absolutely. It is a good Christmas special that I personally did enjoy watching. So, yeah, uh, and I'm thinking, who is Dr. Mysterio? Is it meant to be the Doctor who's Mysterio? <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, ratings, I will give the performances an 8. I'll give the writing a 8, the visuals a 9, and the and my personal, I'll give it a an 8. So, there you go, not, not a bad one. So, there you are. So, have you seen this one? Let me know down in the comments below if you have, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description, so be sure to check all that out. I've been Dan Ross the Whovian, and this has been a Who Review, so until next time, run for your life.